So, welcome back. This is um, the first video of getting these split barless properly sorted. Um, as you guys know, most of you guys, pretty much all of you, are really good, really helpful. You know, you drop down some great comments, you hit up the like button, which you can do now. Um, but I'm gonna dedicate this one to Van Lee. He actually put up a comment before about, which is helping me sort out these barless. Um, you know, sometimes you'll get negative comments and sometimes you'll just get people that just really want to help. And I'm dedicating this one to him. Um, basically because he said that um, try putting these guys on a light diet and then just try and get them out to about five kilometer tosses after having them out around the loft for a little bit. So I thought that's a fantastic idea. He hasn't got back to me yet on a good mix. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to jump in and just make a, a light mix for now, which I'm going to use my main mix um, and we're going to push it back to around about that one ounce one tablespoon a day so we're going to jump in um, and just make up a little container of this premix and we're going to try that over the next week to fortnight with those birds that we want to sort out we're going to try and cut a little bit of weight off them um, and we're going to try and really encourage them to fly I have been getting them out quite a lot um, off camera that you guys haven't seen. They still aren't flying 100%, they're not that confident, but I'm gonna keep pushing them. Um, I've actually got some out at the moment, um, but I'm gonna keep going. Even if I have to go up the end of the road here to the park, let them go, it's probably about 100, 200 meters, um, and just keep pushing them. They really need to be pushed. Um, one of the big motivators for this is Leo and Storm's babies have clocked. Um, every race so far this year bar one the first race they didn't but they dropped in very close today's race just before maybe 10 15 minutes before i started filming this um leo and storm's little check at hen if i remember i'll put a photo up there of her um, very hard race today lots of rain um some of the other races were cancelled but these guys went ahead with it and this bird clocked in um she looks a little bit wet it was a very tough race but she still made it back and she was still a clock bird so very impressed with how they're going um if i can have them next year and you know even if they're just clocking for me like that i'm happy you know they are sitting quite well in the position wise i think the best spot they've got so far is about 35th or something out of about 115 flyers so if i could come in next year and be consistent at that i'd be super happy so we're getting sorted because we do have good birds out there and i'm not just saying that because um you know they are starting to prove themselves so we need to make room and we need to get serious which we're doing so thank you van lee um drop the comment down below let me know you've seen this video um let's get in make a small little mix um and we'll basically just have it sitting up here and we'll start feeding the birds that we're going to sort out get them on that lightweight and just get them motivated um keep them a little bit hungry just so we can sort them out because they need it so Let's get in, sort out a bit of a mix. So I have a container of all sorts here. It's a combination of um, fish, yeah, aquarium stuff and dog stuff and pigeon stuff and chicken stuff. And I'm gonna use these little containers anyway. Um, just mix up a little pre-mix. These are yogurt containers or something. I just, we generally keep them. Um, they make good, good little painting containers, but um, they've been very helpful for pre-mixing little mixes and bits and pieces in. So that's yeah, good just to recycle things. So put that one back up there. And what I do have is I have a heap of wheat. So I'm gonna cut this mix down into wheat. Um, I've got some peas there left over still. What's in there? Oh, it's a bit of chick crumble. I better take that out to the block. Um, and then we've got this big bag of wheat here. So I'm gonna cut it down with wheat because we have so much of it. Um, but um, same time, we need to use it. And there's, it's just a good lightweight feed, so. I'm gonna get some of that out. So I've got my little container of wheat there. Um, you know, wheat's not the most fantastic thing, but for this 
little trial of trying to sort these birds out and get them on something a bit lighter um, it's going to be good because we don't have um, you know a lot of peas that are all protein and heaps of these little safflowers and stuff like that that are super heavy in oils um, so basically I'm just going to use a little bit of a more normal mix and basically just mix it in there with this one just to really cut it down a bit take out all the too much um, still going to be reasonably good little mix but um, we're just going to have to be very careful on the amounts that we're feeding them um, and as I said we just want to keep them on slightly on the hungry side just so we can get a little bit of control back and we can actually motivate them to get flying um, and trap a lot quicker so we can just start um, tossing and that's the plan and just see how far we can push them because um, this first generation of barless splits are going to be pretty useless so we need to um, get moving with it not give them so much of a comfortable little loft with all this nice food we need to make it a bit um, a little bit more un uncomfortable I think for them so they start to behave themselves and just perform a little bit better so what I'm going to do now is um, basically just measure up what I need in there um, but I'm going to measure it with a tablespoon so we've got our six birds out there um, the breeding pair have their own little stash of food so I'm not gonna be too generous I'm just gonna give them uh, one tablespoon each which works out to be about one ounce which I'm you know guessing that that's gonna be pretty good so okay for those burns that we've got out there pretty much comes up to this first marker here which is yeah, a good little spot for me to remember so uh, next few days I'm just going to try and stick around this level so we can really sort them out um, so yeah we'll see how we go I think it's probably time to go out there and give them a little bit of a feed and just see how they like um, this little bit of a change things tightening up around here so let's go and have a look Okay, you can come in now. Just had her out um, for a little bit of a fly and she's straight into it. She's not happy about someone being in her perch. Is that your perch? Not sure. But um, yeah, so basically, um, pretty yeah, basically all of them. We've got to sort out all of them. No point them um, getting this nice feed. But pretty much anyway, when I was looking at that, I was like, oh wow, that doesn't look like a lot. So maybe I have been spoiling them a little bit too much lately. Um, but it is hard because, um, you know, I do love these guys. They're pretty cool. So it's hard not to spoil them sometimes. But um, they are feeding young. But as you know, I do have a little secret stash of seed tucked in behind there. So um, as far as I know, none of the other birds have been getting to that. Not ideal, but, um, you know, some will work on in the future. At least I'm aware of it. Those chicks will probably be coming out of here soon anyway. Mom, mom. Are you a little bit camera shy or have you been fed too much? They got a rude shock anyway coming. You're just so noisy. I can hear you everywhere. Alright? You want to hope that she gets her act together and starts breeding soon because you're a, you're very pushy. This chick is looking pretty good. As I said before, one of the babies from last year we bred from um, these. 
was another clock bird today, another checker hen. So they're doing pretty good and very impressed with um, this pair in their producing babies. So, you know, happy to get them down quite quickly with another pair of young'uns. Sounds like the other birds have come down a bit now. Come on. Okay, so thanks for watching again. Brought the feeder in. Um, hopefully we can sort them out. If you've got some other comments and tips, some super advice, just drop the comments down below. Um, if I think that um, I really like one of your comments, I'm going to bring it up, shout you out and dedicate the video to you like I did with Van Lee this in this video. So make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't. Um, no doubt I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just remember, enjoy your birds. It's a good hobby. Don't let it get to you. Have a good weekend. Stay safe.